hey, 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 Gemini. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your weekend reading from June 12th to the 14th. This is for my Geminian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Geminis, before you leave. I do appreciate it comment as well let me know if this resonates with you if you guys are interested in a personal reading with me the information to my etsy shop can be found in the description box below you'll find the link there i'm going to channel a message from spirit just for you then i'm going to grab four cards well i'm going to grab four cards first then channel then get back to the cards Ooh, gemini Wow. Okay, one more card for Gemini. What's going on for their weekend? Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups, Gemini. You have the Four of Wands. You have the Emperor. Dun dun dun. And then you have the Hermits. So let's get this message from spirit and see what they have for you today lighten your load gemini spirits wanting you to relax this weekend i'm hearing overworking overworking Just relax. Even if you can't stop working, stop for a little bit to relax. You know, do something calming. Thank you. Okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do you have coming? It looks like you have a soulmate coming to you. Um, but you're not sure if you want it. From what I'm feeling here, I think you're like, well, this may even be a twin as well with the four of wands here, but you're going to do some inner reflection and you're going to think about this. I do feel this is somebody from the past. I do feel you do have deep feelings for them, but you're taking, it's like you're taking control of this situation and you're like, all right, I got to figure out what I want. For my stability what's what is my future look like does it include this person so you're looking for that inner wisdom which i like <clears throat> i like that because you're slowing down here this is almost forcing you to right this could be a capricorn with a queen of pentacles here interesting you're trying to be practical about this. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. Yeah, <laughs> you're going back and forth. It's like you're trying to be practical, but this person broke your heart. You've healed over this, not unlike Taurus their reading just a moment ago and you're like okay i can i can be optimistic about the future but they broke my heart what do i really want do i want to do this again can i trust this individual that's what you're thinking tell me about now if this is a new person because for some of you i'm feeling it may be new for a couple of you okay you're going through the same process, but instead, it's like, can I trust again? Am I ready for a relationship? Because I don't want this person to suffer just because of the, you know, the sins of the previous peeps that came before them. Tell me about the Two of Cups here. Let's see. 
Cups. Yeah, Six of Cups. This is definitely a past life soulmate. And for those of you who they're coming back from the past, it's a childhood sweetheart, somebody from the past, right? Very sweet, innocent love. Tell me about the Four of Wands, the devil. Could be a Capricorn. You got Capricorn here twice, Gemini. This could have been a toxic relationship, and this could, this is probably the reason why you're going into this hermit mode because you're trying to be smart about this. You're not trying to be a fool. Very similar vibe to Taurus. Interesting. Yeah, so you're holding back, you're not jumping into anything. Now, you have three fours here already and two sixes. Now, fours talk about stability. Fours talk about family, right? And these sixes talk about focusing more on the spiritual rather than the material. But uh, you're, you're trying to find that balance. You don't want to be closed off, but it's like you, you're not giving away the milk, so to speak, right? All right, what advice does spirit have for you? Let's see what advice. Sagittarius, this is temperance. This is an angel looking over all of this. They're saying, take this opportunity to heal. Not unlike Taurus, again, this is, I don't know if this is a common theme for everybody or the second sign I'm doing right now. Um, wow. This is take the opportunity to heal. Even if this person is not in your life again, heal what you haven't healed. Okay? Heal that part of your heart that maybe needs fixing, right? Find your balance that's only going to serve you and serve the other person as you move forward, whether you're together with them or apart. Okay. What more do you have for Gemini for advice? Yes. This is the universe saying, we're handing you an opportunity. Now, what you make of this opportunity is up to you. Absolutely heal. Absolutely find your balance. Okay. Embrace change, whatever change that may look like for you or that may be for you. Okay, so you're going to have to use your intuition. Okay, there is a strong connection here with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Devil card. So there is a strong, powerful connection. Um, could have been toxic or codependent. Only you're going to know that. So I liked seeing the Hermit here. I think you are going to make a wise choice, Gemini, in going forward and do what's best for you and your spirits. Okay, gems, I hope, oh, let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups, and this is, oh my God, this is what Taurus got as advice as well. That's crazy. Okay, gems, I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. Have yourself a fabulous weekend, and I'll talk to you next time. Oh, keep a lookout for my mid-monthlies, which I'll begin posting this weekend. So hit that notification bell, that way you'll get notified when I do. Namaste.